Hey, hello everyone, Bruno here. I'm super happy today to talk a little about Microsoft Extension for AI. And hey, the whole idea today is to follow one article, an amazing article that we have from my friend Luis, when he is talking about extension and vector data, embeddings, and more. And I know that I talk about RAG in the past. I know that you can find, by the way, the article links in the comments and in the video description, subscribe, likes, and more. But what I want to do today is show you how easy how easy it is to do this, basically using vector stores. You can read a lot in the article why we have vector data here, how it integrates with semantic kernel. We have a lot of questions about Microsoft Extension, AI, abstraction, semantic kernel. So this is an example of both. So let's start with this. You know, I'm a code person. I like to do code. So first of all, let's add a couple of reference here. I am going to go. I have created a console application, and I'm going to do this fast. So I have installed the three extensions here. You can take a look. Here they are, the trees. Extension AI Olama, extension vector data abstraction, and semantic kernel connector in memory. And semantic kernel connector in memory, you probably see uh, saw a couple of videos of me in the past using this for doing RAG. So first step done. We have this. So let's follow here. Let's add a couple of usings. I like it. Make this a little bigger. And we need to define the data movie. We need to define a new class movie. I am going to create a new file here. It's going to be easier. There it is. We have everything and move forward. And the whole idea right now is that we are going to load a list of movies. Again, this is super fast, super simple. We have the movies. And by the way, the movies are standard and popular movies like The Lion King, Inception, The Matrix, and Shrek. Then we have a vector memory, a vector store. And yes, we have here an exception because we need, we're using experimental class here. So let's add here a pragma disable for this. This is up to you. But because we are testing this, what I like to do is I like to add the pragma here at the top. And by the way, you can add the pragma if you want as part of the project solution or more. Follow with the article. Then we need to install Olama and download the old mini model. If you follow me, you probably know that I have Olama running here in Docker. I like to use Olama in Docker. And if I open the terminal in Docker, I will see in the list of models that I have here, the old mini model is already installed. It's a super small model for embeddings four days ago. So I already have the model up and running here. Perfect. So the next step will be to create the embedding client. This is where it's important. We are going to create an embedding generator client that is going to use the local host with Olama, and this is the model. You can test with other models if you want. And then we can start to generate the embeddings, and we're going to start to do what we are going to do later if we want to use RAG. And this is literally how easy is this. We're going to iterate in the movies. We are going to complete the vector property of the movie generating with an embeddings, and then we are going to do an absert. An absert in the collection that we have here is a new method that we have, which is going to basically insert the element. If it's new or update, the element is already there. By the way, the movies is a new collection in the vector store. So OK, let's read it back. This is, makes sense. So we have a vector store in memory. We have a collection. The collection are defined by a name. And if we take a look at the movie, Going back a little more, we are going to see that we have some fields, like key fields, like the key. We have data fields, like title and description. And we have a vector field, which is going to be the vector one, the one that we are filling with them. They are filling with embeddings. So hey, everything starts to make sense. Let's go back here to the program. Let's go back here to our query. And we have here a very simple query. It's going to say, hey, give me a family-friendly movie. And then let's also copy and show the result. And the query is going to generate an embedding from the string. Remember that we are comparing embeddings. And then we are going to do a vector share options here, where we are going to say, hey, give me one result with the vector. And by the way, let's ask for two results to see what we have here. And then we can run this. There it is. So The Lion King is a family movie, animated film that tells you the story. We have a score of 0 0.25, around 25%. And Shrek is the second one with 21%. And hey, 
literally work in 70 lines. And if I do something like a friendly, family friendly movie that have dragons and, and how do you let me take a look at the description and an ogre. I don't know how to say this in English, but let's take a look at this. If we run this again, and bring back the console here. We are going to have Shrek, which is a better one here with 54% of the, the match that we have in the score here and no, and more. But hey, super fast, super simple, literally 70 lines of code. And you can do rag, you can do embeddings and more using Microsoft extensions, semantic kernel in memory, and in this case, Olama with local embeddings. I hope that you like it. I hope that you have said you you make. Learn something new, and remember, subscribe, make likes, give me some comments. This is a super, super useful way to do AI in .NET. Goodbye.